Around 100 pro-Palestinian activists have been stopped by Israeli authorities on their way to the West Bank from Jordan. The group aimed to deliver aid to schoolchildren in Bethlehem refugee camps, but were reportedly turned away without any explanation. Israel's defense ministry later labeled the activist move as a failed publicity stunt. This latest incident follows another scandal involving Palestinian children. A number of Israeli veterans have spoken out, describing a degrading culture of abuse and harassment of youngsters in the West Bank and Gaza. Activists have released a report containing dozens of testimonies that detail numerous cases of violence committed by former soldiers. Artis Paulus Lear has the story. The Israeli Defense Forces has come under fire from its own rank and file. An organization known as Breaking the Silence has published the testimonies of some 30 Israeli soldiers and commanders in which they deal specifically with how the IDF treats Palestinian children, Palestinian minors. They talk about the arbitrary use of violence by soldiers when it comes to children and at the same time they say that very often the IDF deliberately targets children using them as human shields during its operations. But these reports also go on to say that even when children are not deliberately targeted they are not afforded any kind of protection when there is a shootout or any kind of military operation. Now, these reports come hot on the heels of another two damning conclusions that were reached by two separate groups, one being an eminent group of British lawyers and another an international human rights group known as Save the Children Foundation. Now, both of these found that the IDF is in violation of international law when it comes to how it treats Palestinian children. They said that very often these children are put into solitary confinement, they are treated and abused, they suffer extensive damage. At the same time, they, the army is using things like shackles to extract confessions from these children, that those confessions are extracted under duress, and also these children are not afforded any kind of legal representation. Now, also this weekend, there were demonstrations, as indeed there are every week, at Nabil Saleh, which is a Palestinian village. Villagers there are complaining about the gradual encroachment of a nearby settlement on their water supplies. They say that those water supplies are being taken over by the settlers, and as a result, they have no water with which to use on their fields or for drinking water. But in footage that was captured on camera, these soldiers can be seen going from house to house and physically taking people out of their homes. One person was injured, at least six people were arrested, five of whom were children, and there are pictures of the daughters of one woman trying to save their mother as she was manhandled by these soldiers who were also using stun grenades. So certainly not a good time for the IDF. It's finding itself being criticized on a number of fronts. Paulus Lea, RT, Tel Aviv.